Hey, Andre, check it out. We've got some, I'm going to call it exclusive images, the world debut of the new Raptor Ranger. And what are we going to be talking about in this video? Uh, we have everything. So we have specifications, images, some B-roll video we can show you, um, and also a sound clip of the exhaust sound. Yeah, no, this is from uh, Down Under, yep. uh, where they have unveiled uh, the Ranger Raptor. Uh, and of course, we're making a big assumption here, but I think it's fair that eventually what they're seeing in Australia is what we're going to see in America. Yeah, exactly. It's debuted um, right now in Australia, and this has some secrets actually underneath it because, well, let's get to it, because the powertrain they're using here it looks like to be a worldwide for most countries. Yeah, and if you guys have been following us, you know that a couple weeks ago we were at the Chicago Auto Show and we uh, did a walk around of the Bronco Raptor. Yes. Uh, and the Ranger Raptor and the Bronco Raptor share a very similar chassis, and now we know something else they share. Yes, because we have power numbers on this engine. So where should we start? Let's start with the looks, right? I set you up. You were supposed to say they share an engine, and you just said power numbers. So, you know, tee up, dude. Tee up. You knock it out of the park. Uh, no, I did not. But I'm excited <laughs> about the look of this truck. Let's take a look. All right. Let's look. Let's look under the hood and let's look at some of the video of what this thing looks like. You know, let's start with style, right? So obviously the giant C-clamp, very reminiscent of all new Ford pickup trucks. Yeah, exactly. Uh, and, uh, you know, I feel like there is definitely a family resemblance here with the giant Ford. You're never yeah. going to mistake that for a Toyota. Yeah, and the third generation F-150 Raptor, right? How they made the grille wider. It looks like they're doing that here and where the grille actually meets the lights. And, of course, it's high up in the air. Suspension is... They're ready for off-road and a big skid plate up front. Yeah, and recovery hooks. Yeah, you can't forget them. No. Can you actually see them? Nudge, nudge, wink, wink, Toyota. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I just have Toyota in my mind now, sorry. All right, um, so uh, what do you think of the look of it? Do you like it, Andre? I like it. It's good. You know, it's purposeful. It looks like a baby uh, Raptor. I mean, that's the a best A baby way Raptor truck. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so the fenders, you know, there's a bit of a kind of a flare right there. I don't know. They, I think the F-150 Raptor maybe have a little bit wider shoulders. But this, I think it's great. Now, for a long time in Australia, the Ranger Raptor came as a diesel. How about now? Yes. So that's gone. Oh, really? So let's, uh, I guess, we don't have an image of the uh, engine, but, oh, we knew, the but we know the specs. And you have the dual exhaust system coming out the back. Uh, but they're using the three liter twin turbocharged V6 that's also in the Bronco Raptor. Finally, I got it out there. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so, but we know more than this, and that's why I was excited, because they stated the specifications, the output, uh, 392 horsepower, that's converted from, you know, the Australian kind of ratings, um, so it may not be the same for North America. So you want to talk newton meters? In uh, yeah, <laughs> let's talk about newton meters and kilowatts. <laughs> let's not. <laughs> let's stay with okay. pound per... <laughs> so, 392 horsepower, which is quite a lot for a mid-sized truck, and 430 pound-feet of torque. That's converted from newton meters. Right. Yes. So, what do you think about those numbers? I think uh, they're very similar to the uh, uh, Bronco Raptor, right? Uh, it's yeah, the same they should engine. be, yeah. And it's, you know, same chassis, worldwide... Uh, uh, powertrain sharing, it makes complete sense. If I were Ford, I would do the same thing. Uh, you know, diesel, let's face it, is slowly dying here. Uh, and so it makes sense that they wouldn't use a diesel. I'm surprised that they don't have one in Australia, though, because I think that's a big change because, you know, the guys down there are probably used to having diesel. And also, like, in other markets, like Asian markets, yes. Thailand, and some European markets have had the two-liter bi-turbo diesel. So it looks like it's no more, uh, at least in the Raptor version. So what about the suspension? So, yeah, good question. And, of course, it's lifted, it's wider, and it's using live Fox suspension. So, oh. um, and it's now two and a half liter, I'm uh, sorry, two, two and, and a half, half inch, inch. Uh, body. So the Raptor right now is at 3.1, right? Yes. Uh, the new Bronco Raptor is also there. Um, and now this one has slightly um, a smaller diameter on the shocks, but maybe it's just lighter weight, right? Maybe it doesn't need it. You know, if I were in Australia, I'd be very jealous of us here in America. What, 3.1? <laughs> no, no, because this is their big boy truck, right? Yes. We, we, we go, that's our small one, because yes. that's a mid-sized truck, right? That competes with, like, well, it sort of kind of competes Tacoma. with, like, Tacoma, yeah. TRD. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> of course, uh, the uh, Nissan. Pro 4X, uh, but I think it's probably a little one step above that, wouldn't you say? And I think now it will be. Yeah. I mean, if it comes, especially if it comes, or when it comes to the North American shores, we don't have information about that yet. Uh, I think it has the power, it has a suspension, uh, because it has a lots of travel, 
um, and they have a unique rear, uh, rear solid axle suspension with Watts link and front independent suspension, of course. And I'm sorry, I didn't mean to leave out all you Chevy fans, the Colorado. Yes, Colorado. Twins. What about Jeep fans with the, the Gladiator? Gladiator yeah. So yeah, we know you guys are out there. Yeah, yeah. Yes. So here's some images. We also, let's play some video, shall we? Yeah, oh, uh, actually interior. Let's okay. take a look at the interior. Yeah, let me show the inside. Uh, yeah, so this is obviously uh, right-hand drive. Yes. <laughs> versus left-hand drive. With the big uh, vertical screen. Yeah, so this is 12.4 inches, uh, yeah. digital gauge cluster. This is a 12-inch vertical display, very similar to what's, well, orientation is similar uh, to what's in the Mach-E and also the Lightning truck. And you can see, uh, you know, once again, real buttons, which I'm a big fan of. Uh, and uh, once again, it looks very similar, very similar to current Ford products. I do love the accents. Uh, is that orange or kind of like a uh, well, hyper red? They're calling it, at least in the U.S., uh, Code Orange. Code that's, Orange. That's the name. Yeah. But they have, you know, some traditional stuff. You know, the switches uh, look pretty traditional. Uh, stocks and some of the controls for... I can see they have a traditional PRND, you know. It's a console yeah, shifter. Nice. Yeah, good. But it seems to be redesigned. It looks a little bit different. Do we Let's have another see. feature? Yeah, we should. Oh, this is not up close. And then you have drive modes, I see. Yes. Come back, so. Yes. So sport, slippery, I think that's normal. Or maybe that's normal. Um, I think there's winter, there's Baja, and rock crawl. So it has all that stuff. Uh, Full-time four-wheel drive, they said. If, if, uh, it, if, if this is in India, do they sell it in India? It could be like downward dog. <laughs> Upward dog. dog. <laughs> well, yes. Um, so four low is available. Uh, two speed transfer case is available. And look at these buttons. I love the active exhaust, right? Yeah. So you can change the exhaust. You can change the suspension. You can change the steering. Usually, uh, that's uh, a lot of customization when you're uh, uh, in a truck, especially. So that's the new exhaust system with valves. So they're using the same kind of methodology from the F-150 Raptor here and the Bronco Raptor. Any more interior shots? Anything else? We yeah. Can so that's the rear, rear seats. So okay. Have, uh, you know, pretty normal. Um, yeah, no, nothing, you know. I like the inserts, the suede inserts. Yeah, that's, that's, quite a, that's a really unique. nice touch. You know what I like to see? What? And I didn't see it, but I would like to see, I don't know, they don't have it. I'd like to see like those orange colored uh, seat belts. That'd be pretty badass. Hmm. Yeah, or at least maybe some stitching. Yeah, huh? yeah. Uh, let's see, a close up of the seats. Oh, there's a shifter. So it looks a little bit like a stubby, stubby guy. And here, uh, obviously, very similar to the current Bronco. You have the same uh, knob. Yeah. Uh, and, and, and outside, of course, you have GOAT mode in the Bronco, so this must be very similar where then you switch the different uh, drive modes. So you can go in four high, four low, four auto, two high, and then, of course, switch. So I'm sorry, I said full-time four-wheel drive because that's what uh, the press release was saying, but this is showing too high, so I'll have to double-check that. I apologize. That is a button we don't get. I don't know what that's that is. That's a huge button. That yeah. looks... <laughs> Is, is that I don't know if you can see that. Uh, that looks like Baja's combined with winter. Maybe it's winter Baja. I don't know. Maybe, maybe that's like, uh, you know, like what, what's, what, what, what does Fault Ford call their well, off-road cruise control? Trail control. Yeah, so maybe, that's, a, maybe that's their Australian version of Traction control. control off, parking, so yeah. this could potentially park itself. Electronic uh, parking button. Yep. Parking brake, I mean. So let us know what you think that, about this. Can't touch it, but I'm not a fan of that elephant skin. That's that feels very, at least you know from the screen, looks a little, a little yes. rough and hard. Some stitching. This may be a wireless charger and also USB USB C. I'm also curious in the Bronco on the top of the dash. Of course, you have the locking diffs. I wonder if that got incorporated or if the auxiliary switches got incorporated. So I don't see that see there. No, I don't here. see the lock. I don't see those. So like you know, you've got the you've got the the mode where you can drag the wheel, you've got the disconnectable sway bar, you've got the locking front, locking rear. Do we know what kind of lockers this thing has? Uh, at least rear. Okay. So at least rear is there. Here's some other images. Um, and that's a good point because uh, at least in the U.S., for U.S. market, the Bronco and the Ranger are built at the same factory, yes. right, in Michigan. So it would make sense that they would use a lot of the same components as well. Well, let's, let's roll some video. So actually, I don't see any switches no, up no here, switches, dude. No, and I don't see, maybe they're So maybe they're on the, on, the, on the ceiling. It could be auxiliaries. Yeah. Let's go to the video. Let's see what it looks yeah, like. Yeah, let, let's. And so then let, we'll do the exhaust note. Yeah, they, <laughs> they supplied an exhaust clip. So here you, you can see Raptor status, of course, very typical to the F-150. So let's play this a little bit um, here and actually see it in motion. Those look like uh, those are KO2s. KO2s, yeah, for sure. Yeah. I was like, I know that pattern. Yeah. So um, 285, 70, R17. So that's, I think that's about a 33 or a 34. I don't think that's a 35. <laughs> I feel like I'm picking on Toyota, but look, this breaks in the back. 
This brakes. Look, a uh, uh, beadlock capable wheel. Look, a snowflake rating. Ooh, Ooh. ah. Okay. Do they get snow in Australia? I, I bet you they could. Place. They certainly get it in India. Let's get it in the action. Let's watch it. Let's see what it looks like. The rear hitch. Yeah. Uh, I think it's rated to, to actually, I don't have a, all the specifications We don't yet. know tow ratings, or if right. we do, they might be in kilograms or yeah. pounds. It's, it's those are the ones where it's like throwing up. It's usually in. Um, I want to see it. I want to see it like jumping and driving. It's usually three and a half k is what they kilograms okay. are what they um, actually. Okay. There's the exhaust system settings. There oh, there it is. That's now, cool. now we're here. I wonder if this was filmed uh, here or if this was filmed somewhere else. Well, I, I would it could hope be, it could be in the Middle East. Too, I would right? hope this is Australia. Well, I mean, this is also going to be sold in the Middle East, right? And yeah. Did they get it in Europe? In, Do we in, know? In the, yeah, Europe currently gets it. Okay. So I'm sure they'll oh, be... Oh, a little bit of rock crawling it's doing. Ooh, it's going in and out of some big holes. Crevices. Crevasses. Yeah, look at that. Oh, that suspension looks like it's really yeah, it's working, working well. Yeah, Interesting. I'm sure they, the, the driver's wearing a helmet. That's when you know it's serious. It's a professional driver. Yes. Looks like a different angle on the same sh uh, shot. Um... So do we know when it's coming? We don't know if it's coming to America. No. So here's the thing. Yeah. So in Australia and other markets, they unveiled the regular Ranger. Right. Um, that's going to be on sale in a few months. This is follows that, right? So that's going to be a few months after, maybe by the end of this year. And we have yet to unveil the North we, American. We, yeah, we don't even have a re regular Ranger yet. So I'm, I'm sure, uh, well, my guess is that we're going to get the regular Ranger here by the end of the year, and maybe this a little bit next year. Oh, look at that. If there's two recovery hooks there, they're hidden. Did you notice that? Yeah, there was like a plate covering yeah, it. Yeah, I know. It's interesting. So, uh, I don't know, dude. Uh, Ford is going to be uh, swamp building <laughs> stuff because uh, they've They got, need more capacity. Yeah, I know. They've, they're, you know they're, they're going in production with the Lightning, the electric F-150. Yes. Uh, you know, apparently, they're building Broncos, but they're storing them because they're having chip issues like everybody else, yes. right? Uh, now, they're going to have to the build... The Bronco Raptor, too. The Bronco Raptor, which is yes. coming very soon. Uh, and now, of course, at some point, the Ranger and the Ranger Raptor are coming. Yeah. And, you know, we've been guessing at this, but it feels like when Toyota did the Prius and then they turned the Prius into its own model line, I kind of feel like Ford could do the same thing with the Raptor brand, right? Because now there'll be three vehicles potentially, yeah, right? with the Raptor name. Yeah. Absolutely. Exa exactly. I think, I think they're following that exact formula. Well, shall we go to the sound file? Let's see what, let's see what that three liter sounds like. Yeah. So anything else here? Now it's in the jungle. Uh, or something. Okay, so let's switch. Let's switch gears. Okay. Let's By the way, ten-speed automatic um, here. Okay. Uh, so pretty standard uh, transmission right. for Ford. So right. let's play, me the play this. Uh. It sounds Raptorish. It does sound <laughs> Raptorish. Is that a technical term? It sounds like a twin turbo V6. Yes. So. So yeah, so uh, you know you can control that um, exhaust system, so you can make it basically cabin very quiet or actually full exhaust. All right, Andre, I've got a question for our uh, viewers uh, and hopefully truck fans around the country. Okay. All right. So if you had your dithers, which of the three now Raptors would you get? Would it be this one, which is probably going to be the most affordable? Yes. Would you get the Bronco, or would you get the F one fifty Raptor? So. I'm going to call that the Raptor Raptor. So would you get the Baby Raptor, yeah. the Bronco Raptor, or the Raptor Raptor? How and about you? What would you? What, what, where does your heart strings? You've seen the Bronco Raptor. Yes. We've owned two Raptor Raptors. Right. You know, and now we've got a Baby uh, Raptor. <sighs> this is a tough. So first of all, my heart is with a pickup truck. And let's talk pricing. Right? Yeah. So, so we, we don't know pricing here, but we yes, certainly but know pricing on the Bronco Raptor. Uh, yes. So that starts in the U.S. at 69000 Yep. Um, and it's surprising because the F-150 Raptor starts at 65. So you got F-150 Raptor at 65, of course, 80 grand for optioned ones, right? Uh, 69,000 for the Bronco Raptor, plus with options, it'll go higher. This, we don't know. What would you say, mid-50s? How much does the current one cost? What's the top of the line? I'm sorry, I don't know how to convert Australian dollars no, no, no. to... No, 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 top of the line Ranger cost right now. Forty-seven fifty. So add another five to five to ten k. So if you add forty-seven, so plus let's say high fifties. So high fifties. Yeah. Okay. Because then you're in line with like a gladiator. Right. So my heart is with the pickup. So which one would you get? Hmm. Depending on how much it tows. Okay. But you know, I you gotta choose one. Go for uh, it. Oh, F one fifty. 
that's me. I it was, a, it was a trick question, Andre. Wh why? why? Because the answer, guys, and you know this, is a new Raptor Raptor R. Oh, <laughs> with the big no. V8 out of the, the 760 horsepower. We most don't know that. We're, we're, king of all Broncos, <laughs> the Godzilla of Broncos. They haven't unveiled it yet. Not Broncos, Raptors, the Godzilla of Raptors. That would be the one to get. But that would be 100K at least. Yeah, you, can, you want horsepower, <laughs> you want, that's the one that, that you really uh, you know, gets my heart to thumping. Well, there well you guys, go. <laughs> thank you for joining us uh, on your first look at the new Ranger. Oh, by the way, if you want to know Raptor. more, our friend Paul yes. from uh, carexpert.au. Has or, a walk around. Yes, a car expert on YouTube, right here, you can look him up. Uh, he has a walk around and also maybe even some driving um, uh, in one of these trucks. So and, check it out. And thank you for, to Paul for sharing this with us yeah. so that you guys saw it first on the fast lane truck. I really appreciate it. Raptor R is the answer, Andre. Well, that's out of my range, completely out well, of, of my course, range. Well, of course, it's always out of our <laughs> range, but it's, it's fun to, you know. And then, then you could do a proper, like, like, you know, comparison to the TRX. I can't wait to do that. What about the Ranger Raptor R? What would you put under the hood for that? A coyote? Yeah. Maybe maybe just uh, a straight just up a coyote. Just a straight up V8. Uh, yeah, straight up V8. How about that? It's never going to happen. <laughs> it's going to be electric. All right. Remember, okay. guys, go to tfl-studios.com uh, if you want to stay up uh, on all of our videos. One-stop shopping. Uh, as always, this is Roman. And Andre. See you next time, Ciao. Thanks for your garage, Andre. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs>